how much? Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. Now, since the workshop became watertight quite a few episodes ago, uh, I've been asked quite a few times in the comments section, will I be painting the OSB walls? Now, my original intention was no, because to be honest, I quite like it. And I broke it up in uh, the video last week by putting up a white tool wall. And there's another one to go up behind me here with the French cleat-ish type system. But I've decided I'm gonna paint one wall which is this one with the two windows on the side wall and possibly the other side wall, depending on how well this goes. Because I've got to box the windows in, but if I am gonna paint it, now is the time to do it really. So I've made that decision and yes, we are going ahead with it. Now, if you do your Google search and your research and your YouTube search, there is a huge amount of conflicting advice on how to paint an internal OSB wall. But one thing they are pretty much unanimous about is the importance of a good primer. Hence the little intro before the video. And this stuff, which I've bought some of, which is Zinza uh, Bullseye 123. Now I think it is regarded really as the best in its varieties of products that it does. But it ain't cheap. Uh, actually, this one's not too bad because I went to Screwfix and they had an offer for two two and a half litre tins for £50, but they also had a 10% thing off. So I got uh, five litres of it for £45, which is expensive, like, but I believe good value. And we'll find out when this project goes along. So the um, initial thing I need to do is I'm actually just going to sand them down lightly, just a little bit of 120, nothing heavy. Uh, because you don't want it too fine, it needs to take a good grip. I've also got the moisture meter out because two of these were out over winter under the tarps. But a quick check with the moisture meter and they're coming out at about 11%, which is fine, no issues there. So I'm sanding down and then I'm going to give it a couple of coats of these Zinza. And then we will look at putting the top coats on. So enough chit chat and let's get on and see how it goes. If you're new to DIY and you think, God, why is there so many processes sometimes? I only want to paint a wall. It looks clean enough. Why do I have to wipe it down before I start painting? Well, clean cloth, a little bit of white spirit. That's why. <laughs> Morning. All right. First coat of primer went on yesterday and let's deal with a few home truths. If you are thinking of doing this yourself, this is nasty stuff to paint. All right. You've got even with a thick pile roller on it, getting in and then there's little pockets appear. So you've got to get the brush stuck into there and then the roller over the top. Secondly, it drinks paint. All right. So just it's not quite three boards, but if you think three eight by four boards, well over two litres of paint. It just kept soaking it in. And on the tin, finally, dries in 30 minutes, recoat in one hour. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't, all right? Not on OSB anyway, because you've got to get such a thick coat of paint on it uh, a few hours. So I left it in the end. I thought, right, I'll come back tomorrow. Just to point out, and I'll zoom in now so you can see, there is a bit of yellowing coming in in some areas. Because it soaked up so much paint, I was gonna leave it with one coat, but what I'm gonna do is I've got a little bit left in this. 
and I'm going to revisit some of the areas where the yellowings come through, give that another coat, leave it to dry for however long it takes, and then we're going to go to the top coat and one, possibly two layers of that. So I'm do, going to do my little patch up work now, let that dry, and we'll come back to the top coat, maybe today, maybe not. <laughs> All right, let's see how we get on. Okay, it ended up being a complete second coat as just opposed to a little bit of patchwork, but much happier with it now. That Zinza Bin stuff really is living up to its reputation. Uh, good stuff, a little bit expensive, but I think you get what you pay for with that stuff. So anyway, we're getting prepped, ready for the top coat now, and it's gonna be two coats of this. I've got some Santex Smooth Masonry Paint. Well, why smooth masonry paint? Well, firstly, I've got a load of it left over from uh, a project last year. And people may be asking, is it safe to use masonry paint inside? Well, it obviously contains some kind of chemicals to protect um, exterior brickwork and stuff. And But I think once it's dried, it's not a problem. The only thing you need to be careful of, obviously, is when applying it, that it's well ventilated. So make sure all the windows are well open. You've got your PPE on. Oh, and actually long-term subscribers might know I've got a slightly better way of ventilating the workshop. Should we have a look? Okay, really great call to go with the masonry paint. Went on well over the Zinza bin, the primer. Spot on, it's gonna be really durable, particularly in the workshop. I'm gonna give it one more coat. Oh, forgot to mention before, if you wanted to, the actual screw holes and the joins, you could um, seal them over with decorator's cork if you want, and then just sand them down and paint over. I wasn't particularly fussed with it being in the workshop, but that's something you might wanna do if you wanna get a bit more of a fine finish maybe in like a garden room or kind of like, you know, snooker room, something like that. Right, one more coat on for this and then I think we're done. Which brings us to the end of this one, and I thought I might just recap a few key points in this, just in case you're thinking of doing this in your own workshop or your garden room. Actually, I posted an image on this on Instagram the other day, and one of my followers said, you can't paint OSB, you need to show off your wealth. Um, well, as you know, I did buy this stuff last year, and the cost has gone through the roof. But I do think actually having this wall, I might just leave it this one, possibly the other side will be good for things like filming because of, of light issues and stuff like that. So in conclusion, uh, if you're not going to go down the Zinza bin route because you think it's a little bit too pricey, uh, you do need to prime the walls and you need to do a good job of priming it and use an oil based primer, please. Don't use a water based one. It's more likely to soak into the OSB, which might cause swelling issues further down the line. Also, it does put a solid hard layer on the oil based primer ready for the top coat to go on. So as I say, I use the Zinza bin stuff. If you can find something that's of equal use. Also, when I did the first coat, I left it overnight and I came back in and it did show some of the yellowing. So leave it to properly dry, to properly go off if you like, and then give it the second coat, leave it again, and then go for the top coat. Using smooth masonry paint inside, fine, not had any issues at all. I think it's gonna be brilliant for a workshop because it's gonna be hard wearing. If you do follow my channel, I will give regular updates if it starts flaking or whatever. I'll hold my hand up and go, mm, 
maybe shouldn't have done this, but I will give regular updates on that. Do make sure it's well ventilated when you're painting. I have both windows open. I had the drawbridge down to make sure there was airflow coming through. Uh, if you haven't got a drawbridge, then maybe open the door or the windows. I'm not so sure. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I did say about maybe corking the... Um, uh, screw holes and the lines. I'm not going down that route because if I do want to take it off, I need to know where the screw holes are. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Hope it's been a little bit useful for you. Uh, as I said this many times, I'm not in the trade. I'm just a keen DIY guy. And uh, if you are in the trade, I do welcome any feedback, um, positive and negative. Uh, and also, if you're not, just let me know what you think in the comments section. As everyone, thanks for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.